Today we would like to tell you the story how we came to research and conserve an ancient Egyptian burial shroud depicted a woman and a child. It is one of our museum's most famous artifacts and dates back to the 2nd century BC. The shroud comes from the collection of Russian Egyptologist and Orientalist Vladimir Galinishev, who collected Oriental antiquities for almost 30 years. The Museum of Fine Arts bought his collection, which consists of nearly 7,000 items, in 1909. Like most archaeological artifacts, the shroud depicting a woman and a child has undergone conservation work on numerous occasions. In the 19th century, the cloth of the shroud was rather carelessly glued onto a new yellowish-brown fabric, and the missing areas were filled with fragments of a new fabric, and later stretched over a wooden frame. Perhaps this was done in an effort to give this unique artifact a so-called marketable condition. The burial shroud was part of the permanent exhibit of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts for several decades. However, unfavorable environmental conditions and the natural aging process led to the condition of the artifact to deteriorate steadily. It was clear that the shroud was in need of urgent conservation work. Preliminary analysis showed that in the 19th century, gluten was used to reinforce the shroud. Over time, the glue lost its plasticity resulting in increased rigidity and brittleness of the shroud's threads. This has led to multiple fractures and deformations of the fabric, as well as to swelling and chipping of the paint layer. The best cultural conservation restoration organizations in Moscow, along with experts from the Louvre and the Metropolitan Museum of Art, have been involved in conducting the pre-conservation physical and chemical analysis and the conservation treatment itself. The first studies produced some unexpected and interesting results. In the following films, we will tell you about the story of Galinishev's collection, the Egyptian burial ritual, iconography, and the purpose of ancient Egyptian shrouds. Anthropologists and archaeologists will talk about the people of Greco-Roman Egypt and the diseases that may have killed them. We will also learn about the history of gathering and collecting ancient Egyptian artwork. With the help of historians and artists, we will uh, reconstruct the original appearance of the shroud. We will keep you up to date on the results uh, of our research and tell you about the amazing discoveries made by our scientists and conservators. Well-known specialists from Moscow, Paris and New York will share the experience in studying and conserve ancient Egyptian archaeological textile. Over the course of the next few months, we will cover in detail all the stages of our work in this unique piece of ancient Egypt art. Watch this space.